Gloucestershire beat Kent in a low-scoring game at the Spitfire ground. Gloucestershire were closing in on a victory going into day four. They required just 47 runs for the win over Kent. Kent were hoping for a miracle. Matt Henry removed Roderick LBW not long into proceedings. The pair of Roderick and Howell collecting 75 runs for Gloucestershire. This was followed by a nervy spell for the batting side, as just three balls later, James Bracey fell to Matt Henry for a duck, the batsman edging a shot to slip. Darren Stevens also gave Kent a glimmer of hope as he sent Jack Taylor packing, the score at this stage 84 for four, just 25 more runs needed. Van Buren added a four before getting lucky, the batsman very nearly edging behind, but the umpire saving him on this occasion. Not long after, he was sent on his way. Darren Stevens delivering the ball, forcing the error from the batsman. Gloucestershire at this point needing just six runs to win. It was left to Benny Howell to drill the ball through mid-off for four, earning himself a 90-ball half-century and the win for Gloucestershire. Despite his third ball duck in the first innings, Hal came out well in the second to collect his 50, Roderick also contributing well. Kent can't really have too many complaints. They were bowled out in just 18 overs on the first day. Gloucestershire win by five wickets, earning themselves 19 points, Kent with three. Lots of improvement needed from Kent in the following weeks, particularly the batting side. <laughs>